Welcome to the latest edition of Designing Spaces Military Makeover, where we team up with good-hearted people to help out an injured veteran and his family. As you can see, we're suffering from a little inclement weather here. Everyone except my good buddy Art is pretty hardcore. Is Art even here yet? Art! Somebody tell Gunny to be patient. I'll be right out in a few. Oh, and I'd love that cappuccino, please. And some sushi. That'd be nice. Time for us to show our appreciation and give back to those who have sacrificed for your service to our country. This is Designing Spaces Military Makeover. Today's Military Makeover is sponsored in part by Paralyzed Veterans of America. Now, while Art finishes up his sushi, I'm gonna get right down to business. I want you all to meet the Park family. Tech Sergeant Kevin Park has seen some serious action in the Middle East, so pay attention. I grew up in Minnesota, about 30 minutes north of Minneapolis in a little town called Spring Lake Park. It's where I met my wife. After hitting it off at prom, they started dating and eventually married and grew to be a family of seven. Kevin enlisted with the Air Force and trained to join the Explosive Ordnance Disposal or EOD task force. I was deployed in Helmand Province, Afghanistan. Like so many other men and women in uniform, Kevin soon found himself in a life-threatening situation. We were going to an IED call, and I was in the turret, hit an IED on our way out. It actually threw our vehicle forward around 14 to 17 feet. The impact ruptured the discs in Kevin's back, causing long-term damage. The machine gun uh, hit me in the face and knocked me out, which caused my uh, traumatic brain injury. I was 5'11 when I left and now I'm a short 5'9. I get up in the morning and I gotta take all my medicine, all my pain medicine to help me try to get through the day. If I didn't have her and the kids, I don't, I don't think I would be here because I couldn't, I, it, the pain is, it's not really something that you want to live with. Veterans like Kevin motivate us at Military Makeover to give back. This home will look nothing like it does today when we're through with it. We love this home. We moved here in 2012. We have made little improvements in it as, you know, as we can. Everything else is kind of stuff that we collected that like our neighbors gave us or stuff we found. So it's kind of just, you know, a hodgepodge of stuff that we've put together. We both kind of thought it was too good to be true. It's, you know, you guys are taking your time out of your lives. People are donating things just to, you know, let, let us have and let us have a, a more forever home. And it's, uh, it's amazing. I can't wait to see what you guys are doing. Time to get started on yet another military makeover. The carpet's being removed, walls are being prepped, and the old kitchen will have to make room for a brand new one, provided by Choice Cabinet. You know, Art, there is no doubt in my military mind, Kevin Park and his little family deserve the very best military makeover that we can possibly provide. I 100% agree, Gunny, and that's why Magic Chef has brought in some great appliances, and including this chest freezer. So I got my buddy Dave to tell us all about it. I'm glad I thought of that. Why don't you get it done? Right. Good idea, Gunny. Well, let's go. We're installing Magic Chef appliances for the Park family. 
we invited Home Depot TV guide David White to guide us through the process. In addition to your knowledge and your two hands and your Home Depot expertise, you've brought along some great Magic Chef appliances. Tell us about the, uh, let's start with the uh, ice chest, the uh, chest freezer. It's a busy family, they've got five kids. Uh, so the first thing we brought in was the chest freezer. They buy in bulk, so it's a great place to be able to store those foods and, uh, and they can keep a lot of food for a long time. The plumbers are here to run lines, so another really cool appliance can be installed. Plumbers are here, they're running water lines and drainage for a commercial ice maker with this family of seven. Uh, a lot of activities, there's a lot of entertaining, uh, and it really takes the burden off the ice maker in the kitchen. It makes sure. 90 pounds a day. Now in the kitchen, you said we've got a couple of specialty items happening as well. We do, we actually have two different types of beverage coolers that we're putting in. Uh, one is a dual zone. What that means is you can have wine in half and then beverages in the other and actually have two separate temperatures. So Very you can nice different types of beverages. And then we've also added a, a second microwave to the kitchen. So uh, it's gonna help supplement the, the microwave that's built in. Right. It's a 0.9 cubic foot microwave. It's 900 watts. It can cook just about anything. But think about if they're using the kitchen and, and cooking a meal, somebody needs to microwave some popcorn or heat up a drink. You've got a separate microwave space to do that. That is great. You've got multiple angles happening. Now, something special for Kevin in his uh, man cave, mini man cave man area. Man corner, right? Man corner, right? right? Well, He's got to have something. Exactly, right? and we know that, that he likes to spend time. He you know he needs a little downtime. Uh, we've added a 3.5 cubic foot Magic Chef refrigerator in there, which is perfect. It sits right next to the console. It can store beverages, foods. It even has a freezer on the top. While it's still storing outside, let's take a break from appliances and shift focus to education. People in the military are looking for a good education that will take them places. Now go educate our viewers. Give them an educated education. Gunny, does that even make any sense? It does to me. To tell us about education, particularly if it's geared towards a future in the armed services, we invited Scott Kizire from Bellevue University. So what kind of challenges do many veterans face when they transition from the military into civilian life? Well, what we usually see is they're not prepared to make the transition. They don't know they need a bachelor's degree to become more marketable. They think their experience is going to be good enough. And unfortunately, it's very competitive now, and you need a bachelor's degree to be able to compete. Bellevue University recognizes military training and also transfers college credits from basic training, boot camp, and other technical schools into their program. Now, specifically, Kevin has a big surprise in store, doesn't he? Yes, he does. I'm pleased to announce we're awarding him a full master's graduate degree. Wow, that, so he gets to go to school, Bellevue University online. Yes. And further his education, and that's all gonna be granted by you guys. Correct. Bellevue University has been in online education for over 20 years and 85% of their students graduate through online classes. We say students can go to school in their pajamas because when you're online, it's just you and the faculty. That's great. And, and generally, how long does it take to get an online degree compared to, you know, to the traditional way of going to classes? We have accelerated cohort degree programs, so you're looking at about 18 to 20 months if you come in with the 60 plus hours. What sort of results are you seeing from people who do further their degree? Are they able to get promotions and raises, et cetera? It is. The skills they learn in, in, in uh, academic world, I call them the indispensable traits. Why am I so valuable? A computer, robot, or technology can't replace you are like communication, collaboration, critical thinking, problem solving, things they can use right out, right out as soon as they graduate. Looks like the rain has subsided. This is the perfect opportunity for the outdoor projects to be continued. You ever been in the old rain room just enjoying that shower to the max and somebody flushes the toilet? That's why we need water pumps. Oh yeah. We hooked up with Scott Staten from Franklin Electric, who's here to tell us about the water pump system that's being installed for the Park family. Your schedule is ambitious to say the least. You've got a lot to do. So in that garage, I saw a lot of uh, you know piping and a lot of uh, materials going in there. Tell me what's happening. Well, as Franklin Electric, we produce all kinds of water pumping solutions. We, uh, we do it for commercial, industrial, and as you see here, this is a residential installation. We've got a product going in on the inline coming water, which is the, our inline 400. It's going to boost the water pressure. Have you ever been taking a shower? Yeah. Somebody else goes and turns on a faucet, it drops that water pressure. Right. We're going to alleviate that for them. Being a family of seven, 
this system will certainly help with supplying everyone with plenty of pressure. And then there was something else, a uh, brand new utility sink that's going in there, but there's a, what's that thing underneath? It's really interesting. That's actually our compact water removal system. It's got a pump inside that's automatic and it removes the water. And the reason you do that is it's, it goes in a place where you may not have gravity drainage that is practical, mm -hmm. uh, like a basement, or in this situation, the garage, garage is a little bit lower, kind of right. hard to get the drain out of there. So right. we put the basin underneath the sink, Five kids coming in, doing a lot of cleaning up. They're, put that utility sink, it's just gonna enhance something and make it a little bit easier. We'll come back to Scott and Franklin Electric, but first, let's shift gears and talk mortgages. Here we are, moving full speed ahead on our home improvement project. Right about here is where I need to slow down, kind of back up a little bit. I need someone intelligent that can talk to people about mortgages. Scotty, I'm right here, what do you need? Put that gear down before you kill somebody. Oh, sorry, buddy. I need somebody smart that can talk to people about mortgages. Can you do that? I, I can certainly try. Well, I don't know about the smart part, but you can certainly talk. All right. Okay, go, go get them. Get I got the wasabi coming. wiped off your shirt there. While we're moving forward on home improvement, we like to occasionally take a step back to take in the big picture. In this case, how to buy a home. There are many misconceptions about getting a mortgage, especially in today's marketplace. We have with us Ray Brusso to give us helpful advice on securing a mortgage. Ray, thanks so much for being here and thank you for having Carrington Mortgage involved with Military Makeover. You guys do a lot of veterans' causes, don't you? Good to be here, Art. We do. We have a, a charitable foundation. It's known as the Carrington Charitable Foundation. Right. It focuses heavily on veterans' causes and what you're doing for the Park family is uh, right up our alley in line with what we believe in. You know, for the folks sitting at home who are saying, you know, I'll just write the rent check every month. I can't be bothered owning a home. The process of getting a mortgage is scary. It's intimidating and I don't want to be rejected. They don't have to worry a lot about that because Carrington Mortgage has programs that help even the underserved. Isn't that right? That's absolutely correct. It's a big transaction. It's one of the largest financial transactions a, a, an individual is going to make during their lifetime. So spending some time thinking about it is appropriate. Uh, but don't get, don't get sick over it. It's, it's not that intimidating a process if you work with the, the right type of a lender like a, like a Carrington. There are programs available for those that are, are perfect and those that are, are not so perfect, or as you referred to, the underserved. Veterans, for example, have certain benefits that other consumers may not be entitled to. The VA will make 100% financing available to a veteran so they can get into a home with zero cash out of their pocket so they can use it for renovations or, or other things. That's one of the, the greatest benefits, at least when it comes to buying a home that a, vet, a veteran gets to take advantage of. This can free up funds to invest into improvements for the home. And, and that's not limited to VA borrowers either. That can be for um, a civilian through the FHA program. Uh, they've got renovation loans and other programs available where uh, it may not be 100% financing, but you may only have to put down two or 3% and some of that can be even gifted to you. More mortgage talk in a bit, but first, Let's finish your conversation with Dave and Magic Chef. When selecting the right appliances for your home, size matters. Size really just depends on the space that you have, right? A lot of people don't have a lot of extra counter space, so we've selected a 0.9 cubic foot. Um, they go up to 1.1 and, and the wattages vary, again, with the size. So you wanna just make sure that you have enough wattage to cook the types of foods that you're cooking. More wattage is more cooking power. And like you said, this is basically to, you know, heat up the pizza rolls and the popcorn for movie right. night. Kind and this thing. one actually though, it's, it's 900 watts, so you can really do some good cooking. It really is whatever you can fit in that. Sure. And do you recommend when somebody's shopping for Magic Chef, uh, looking online and then going into the Home Depot and sort of uh, getting your hands on it and seeing it in person? So but we see we see a lot of customers now that are shopping online and they're actually picking up or buying in store. And what sort of information should uh, a customer come in with? Uh, the size, the usage, and that's the kind of information you need to guide them in the right direction. Exactly, so size first of all, that's a big deal, how much space you have. Uh, again, how you're gonna be using the appliance, uh, color specifically, you need stainless, white, black, depends on, on what you wanna match. Uh, and with those sort of specs, I think we can just about help anybody that comes in. Dave, thanks for being here. It's our pleasure, it's a great project. Thank you.
time to reconnect with Scott from Bellevue University. Bellevue University is a nonprofit institution established in 1966 solely for the purpose of serving the community and military families. Do you find a lot of military families are using online degree programs? Yes, we're seeing an increase in that because the military is getting more competitive as well where they're expecting you to get your education while in the active duty. Bellevue University offers over 70 undergraduate and graduate degree programs in rapidly changing career fields. So what sort of flexibility and coursework do you offer to somebody that's transitioning from military life to civilian life? Well, our faculty and student coaches go out of their way to be flexible and supportive, especially during deployments. And our faculty have 20 years plus experience. They know how to make that classroom challenging and yet enjoyable at the same time. Online education provides flexibility so students can take classes while working or being on active duty in the military. So one of the big questions on everybody's mind is, can I afford this? You know, is there financial aid? And if they've already taken college courses, will the credits transfer? Because they obviously don't want to pay for them twice. Yes, and if as long as the college credits are from a, an institution that was accredited, we'll accept them. We do an evaluation for every single student that comes in, and every student gets a degree plan prior to starting classes so they know exactly what the roadmap is to earn their degree. Awesome, and now there's also something special about your organization's culture. Our passion is for military students, both active and inactive. Our employees wear these wristbands. They say something worth fighting for. We truly believe our students are worth fighting for. We appreciate you being here. Thank you. Thanks, Scott. The Franklin Electric team is really taking advantage of this break in the weather. Remember that ice maker from Magic Chef? Well, that poses an extra challenge to the Franklin team. With an ice maker, you have a drain that's in the bottom of it, and it's very low to the ground. So what we did is we took one of our little giant condensate removal pumps, put it right behind the ice maker, it pumps it right into our little giant basin, pumps it out into the drainage. Problem solved, right? That's right. Kevin had asked for an area where he could get away to for relaxation and to ease his mind. So the folks at Franklin Electric had a perfect solution for that. A koi pond. So everybody lo loves to sit next to a waterfall and hear the water splashing down the rocks. Kevin wanted that, so we're providing that. We've got our pump in there with a skimmer and a biological waterfall filter on the other end. That's what creates the waterfall. It gives you complete circulation for this type of ecosystem. But it didn't stop there. With uh, Rennie West of uh, Executive Landscaping, we have put in a whole array of all kinds of landscape around the entire home. And as you see this patio that we're standing on right here. That's great. That break in the weather has given us a great opportunity to start some real work and finish up the water garden that they're really gonna be able to enjoy as a family. Well, it's really making the backyard and, and the whole project come together with that. And we couldn't have done any of it without you. We weren't done talking about mortgages. What makes it easier to get your job done? Well, I think it starts with understanding where you are uh, from a credit perspective. Credit's very important. It influences a lot of different transactions in your life. So start by understanding what's in your credit profile. Get a copy of your credit report from one of the credit agencies. You're entitled to that you know, for free once a year. Also, gather your income documentation like pay stubs as well as tax returns. Oftentimes, borrowers have multiple choices on the kind of products that are available to them and what's going to work best for them. What are some of the things that Carrington Mortgage can offer a first-time buyer that maybe some other mortgage companies won't do or can't do? Sure. Well, I, I, Carrington's uniquely positioned in that it, we're not just a mortgage mortgage company. We've got a, a real estate firm, we've got a title firm, we've got an escrow firm. So what we can provide a borrower is the complete experience mm -hmm. from beginning to think about buying a home, to getting pre-qualified, to working with a realtor, to getting their title and escrow needs done, and even repairs, frankly, if they need them through our, our property preservation unit. Because purchasing a home can be intimidating, Carrington has an education program where home buyers can learn a lot more about the process. That education program requires the borrower to invest about 25 minutes and they go through a series of questions about their transaction, about their income, about the terms of the loan, so that when they're done, they understand everything completely. Excellent. Ray, thanks so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Art. All right.
Well, we have accomplished our mission today. Yes, sir, we got it done despite the inclement weather. Our crew pulled through even under these adverse conditions. I'm even proud of Art. I don't know what's happened to him. He's become a self-starter, a multitasker. He's still in there working his fingers down to the bone. I'm renaming Art Mr. Extra Mile. I wish I had 10 more just like that.